So welcome to this video about creating alignments and alignment tables in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So this is the work that we're going to do during these uh, next couple of videos is create these alignments, these center line alignments as well as these offset alignments. And then we're going to label the center line alignments and then turn those labels into these tables as you see here. So what we're starting from is this drawing and it's based off of this information out of your textbook. This is P10-4 on page 335. So if you take a look in there, you'll see some information as far as the lines, so the bearings and distances of the lines, information about the curves, uh, the street width, the sidewalk, and then finally just a little sketch of these different roads. So we've got Lakeview Drive kind of running uh, vertically over here on the right. Then we have Ash Avenue towards the bottom, Oak Avenue towards the top. So the way we're going to start with this is go ahead and go out to the R drive, open up this file, P10-4 alignments, hyphen student. Once you get it open, go ahead and save it on your U drive. And all I've done in here so far is I, I've just drawn these as lines. So I just drew them as lines uh, following the information from the textbook. So now what we're going to do is create alignments out of these. So the way we do that is on the home tab of the ribbon, come up to alignments, click on alignment, come down to create alignment from objects. When you do that, it says select the first line arc polyline. So I'm going to come up here to the top and this is Lakeview Drive. So I'm going to click on that short little line there, click on my next line and then finally click on my last line, select all three of them and then hit enter. You can make sure that your direction is going the right way. So this one's going from top down. That's the way we want it. If yours is going the other way, you can just select reverse out of the command line down here and it will flip the direction of that alignment. So mine's good. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And it takes me to my create alignment from objects. So first off for the name, I'm just going to call this Lakeview Drive for it. The type of alignment, this is a center line alignment, so I'll leave that set to center line. For sites, uh, I don't teach about sites in these classes, so we're just going to go ahead and leave our site as none. For the alignment style, I'm going to use existing. For the alignment layer, I'll click on this little icon out here to the right. Brings up this object layer box. I'll go ahead and click on that icon again. It takes me out to my layers. I'm going to come down here and find my layer C road center. So I'll select it, hit OK. I hit OK in my object layer box again. Down here for alignment label set, I'm going to do all labels just so we can see what labels are created and what labels are possible. For our conversion options, uh, we don't have any curves, so this first checkbox doesn't matter. You can leave it checked, you can uncheck it. And then for erase existing entities, I'm going to go ahead and check that box, and it's going to delete these lines that I've drawn and it's going to replace them with my alignment. So you may want to leave, you may want to uncheck this. If you want to leave your lines on there, uh, you can always put them on a layer and turn them off so that they don't display. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked and go ahead and hit OK. And now you'll see that white line disappeared and replaced it by this red line. So my station here at the top, I'm at station 0 plus 0, 0 and it goes all the way to station 4 plus 30. And so here's my label set that came in. So I've got this design speed. So I can click on it and hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. And then I've got a few uh, other labels. I've got my be beginning point, point of intersection, another point of intersection, and an ending point. So I'll just select one of those and hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of that. Then that just leaves my stations, which is basically the length of my alignment. So it's 430 feet long. So I've done that for Lakeview. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that same process for the other two. This one up here at the top is Oak Avenue. And then this one down here at the bottom is Ash Avenue. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you what it's supposed to look like. All right, so I used all the same settings as I did to create the first one. And so then again, I'll come in here and delete these extra labels that Civil 3D created for me that I don't need to see. And so this is what you have now. 
And so if you come over here to tool space on your prospector tab, you'll find alignments. And under center line alignments, you'll have Ash Avenue, which is this bottom one. So my station started at zero and goes to 373. And then we already created Lakeview. You'll also have Oak Avenue. So Oak Avenue up here at the top. So zero starts here at the intersection of Oak and Lakeview and goes to 335. If your direction's wrong, a direction's pretty easy to change. You just select the alignment. Once you do that, you go to this uh, contextual tab that's got information about alignments, click on modify, and then just select reverse direction, and it'll flip and it'll put zero on the other end of your alignment. So it's pretty easy to flip the direction on that. So I'll go ahead and hit escape a few times. So now we've got our alignments. Now it's time to create our offset alignments. So the process is pretty similar to that that we did for alignments. Come up here on the home tab of the ribbon, click on alignment, come on down to create offset alignment. Once you select that, AutoCAD Civil 3D prompts you for select an alignment. So I'll just come in here and I'm going to start here with Lakeview. So I'll just click on Lakeview. Now it takes me to this box. It says uh, alignment to offset from is Lakeview. My offsets name template. I'll go ahead and leave that naming format the way it is. My station range, I want to go from the start to the end. So I'll leave those checked. I want one offset to the left of my alignment. I want one offset to the right of my alignment. From the information out of the textbook, I want these to be set to be offset 20 feet to each side. So I'll change those to be 20 feet. For my alignment style, I'll use offsets, alignment layer. I'll go ahead and click on this little icon. It takes me out here to my object layer box. I'll click on that icon again, and I want to come down here and find C road line. So I'll select the C road line layer, hit OK. Hit OK in my object layer box. And then for alignment label set, I don't need any labels on these offset alignments, so I'll leave that set to no labels, and I'll hit OK. And it created these offset alignments. And so what's nice about offset alignments is if my parent alignment, so if Lakeview Drive, if it changes direction or if it changes length, that these offset alignments will update with it. So I did that for Lakeview. I'll go ahead and do that one more time. To create the uh, the final offset alignments for Lakeview, and then we'll go and repeat that process for Ash and Oak. So I'll show you what that's going to look like here in a second. All right, so this is what we're looking for. That first set of alignments was 20 feet from the center. So then for this last set of alignments, referencing off of Lakeview, will be 29 feet from the center. Just remember when you're specifying your offsets, it's always from your parent alignment, so that center line alignment. So you're going to use 20 feet for the first set, 29 for the second set, and you're going to do that for Lakeview as well as Oak and Ash. So when you get done, you can take a look in tool space on your prospector tab and under your center line alignments, you also have offset alignments. So if you expand out offset alignments, we're going to have all these. So I've got four for Ash, four for Lakeview, and four for Oak. Then once we get that done, we're ready to clean these intersections up. You know, I've got these offset alignments that are extending all the way to my center line. I want them to stop, but I don't want to delete them. I don't want to trim them. I just want to cover them up. So the way we cover them up is just go ahead and click on the alignment. And then we'll get to alignment properties. So I'll click on alignment properties and then select alignment properties. And once this comes up, I've got this option for masking. So I'll click on my masking tab. I'll click to add a masking region. And once you click on that, it takes you out to your drawing. And I'll click on the endpoint of that first offset alignment. And then I'll click on the intersection back here. And it just covers up that information. So when I hit OK, the information still exists. It just cleaned up that intersection for me. So we're going to go around all these intersections and clean them all up. So give me a second, and I'll show you what that's going to look like. OK, so go ahead and finish creating masking regions on these different alignments until your intersection for Ash and Lakeview looks like this. And then your intersection for Oak and Lakeview should, like, like, should look like this. So once you got that, uh, be sure and save this. You're going to need it for the next video when we are creating the uh, line and curve tables. So thanks for watching and working along with this video. And
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.